Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. So we're going to see what comes up. This could happen at any time in February. Um, after I get done the Februarys, I'll go back to the weeklies. I, it's just time. It's time for me to do these Februarys. So we're going to do the February for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for the Scorpios out there? One card, please. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is change. This is positive change. Okay, so this is going in a new direction. This is the Wheel of Life spinning you in a new direction this month. Okay, so you're definitely going to be going in a new direction. It's a very positive change. It's a positive energy. Uh, yeah, I mean, what more can I say other than it's a very positive um, change. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new one. That the, wheel, the wheel of fortune is the wheel of life that is always changing. So expect a change. Okay, and it's and it's a universal change. Okay, these two cards came out. They flew out. Okay, that's too many. These cards are hard to shuffle, but I I don't like bags. Still three. I guess it's the way it goes. So, what do we have for Scorpio? Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Owl, good advice from a wise person. August, August is prominent in some way. Something may have happened in August. It's coming to fruition now. Something could be happening next August. You could be dealing with somebody that is born in the month of August. It may have something to do with marriage. Now, marriage doesn't have to be your partner. This could be a commitment to anything. Okay? Um, so you're going to be committing to something. You could be discussing marriage. Um... Some, maybe you get married in August. I don't know. Um, good advice from a wise person. I think we're going to leave that there. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Take care. There's enemies working against you. So there is some enemies working against you. So you got to be aware of that. What do we have for Scorpio in regards to love? Somebody has some advice for you. You may want to listen to it. Think back to last August or another August and uh, try to remember what happened during August. It may be coming to fruition now, something that happened in the month of August. That's what I feel. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this is about clearing energy. Positive change is coming. Running in a new direction. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? For February. Destined change. Destiny may be bringing you towards a new commitment. Okay. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Now, the Eight of Pentacles reverse is something not working out. Something not working out, it's, but it's meant to be. This is meant to be. Something may not be working out, but it's going to lead you in this new direction. Ace of Pentacles. You may have had an opportunity in the past that you thought was a golden opportunity, but I don't feel like it's working out. This is the past. Okay, I feel like uh, 
somebody's not really putting in effort or there's no real payout, but you have something better. What is this? Ooh, this is moving on from past hurts. Uh, leaving the past behind with the Three of Swords reversed. That is on the path to recovery, healing. Um, now this is about action. Releasing something and bringing in the new. You got something new coming in, Scorpio. You have manifested, and you have, they're mirroring each other. You have been manifesting a new opportunity now, the, when I see the Wheel of Fortune, it's like a fortunate accident. So I feel like you may have gotten yourself involved with something that didn't work out or wasn't meant to be, but now they're heading you towards something that is manifestation, manifestation. So you are going to be getting something that you asked for, and you may have even asked for it subconsciously, okay? This is taking action to bring success. This is a divine connection. They hear your thoughts. You know, if you've, if you've been praying for healing or you've been, you know, praying for a new direction or praying for something else, well, I think your prayers have been heard. Um, but they may not have been answered in the way that you thought that they were going to be answered. Now, the magician is about letting go of the old to bring in the new. It is. And this is its time to, to clear your energy. So there's something that you need to let go of. It may have to do with an ex, okay? Um, because you have a new opportunity here. You definitely have a new opportunity here that could be very fortunate. Um, it can help you to heal, heal from this uh, person that broke your heart or caused you a lot of suffering. Now, this is about investment, putting in effort, waiting, waiting, waiting. Now it's time. It's time for you to reap your reward. So, yeah, there is some sort of reward, and it's time to go someplace else. This is the card to me of relocation. It's like um, you, you invested in something, you paid for something, you paid a lot of money for something, or you invested, or you gave it a lot of your effort, but it still didn't work out no matter what you did. It didn't work out for a reason. There's a reason because you're headed towards something that... You are meant to uh, connect with this. Some of you may be relocating. You may be packing up. You may be going someplace else. You you aren't going to get any more out of this situation. This is a dead end. Now, definitely taking action. So this is this is doing something. We have a we have an action oriented person here that has some sort of vision that is creating something. So, so I think that you're going to be creating, some of you may be starting your own business as well. Maybe you've been working for somebody and it's not working out. You may start your own business. You may become the boss. You know, maybe you, you step into that uh, leadership role, you know. I do feel like there's a, there's a leadership role here that you may be taking. Um, some of you have been wasting time obviously on this X energy or this thing that isn't growing. Could be a job, could be an X, whatever. And it's time for you to create and you will be creating something new. There's going to be some communication coming in. There's action being taken that leads to success. But you will have to plant seeds someplace else. So I feel like you are going to be doing that. I feel like you're going to be planting seeds someplace else, creating, you know, this is like a new enterprise or something, a new investment. I think you're going to be creating something new this month. And you may not, and it may be very sudden. It may happen out of the blue. It may happen out of the blue. You could have somebody that is running away, you know. It feels like somebody's running away. They're running, running somewhere. They're running and I feel like there's been some sort of suffering. There's been some sort of pain. But this kind of like breaks you free from that pain, whatever it is. Um, I feel like you're going to be in charge now. You're going to be, you're going to be, yeah, this is like being put in charge of something. Um, very, very, a lot of determination here. I think that there, that your determination is going to pay off in some way in the future, but I feel like you have been investing in something that is no longer growing. It is not working out. You thought it was going to lead you down the path to prosperity. But I don't think that's the case. I feel like the universe, because it, that is a universe card, is telling you that it's time for you to go in a new direction. Okay? Time for you to leave the past hurts behind and do something different. Create something new. So you're going to be creating something new this month. You are. Um, 
seeing clearly. There's clarity coming. That's clarity. Um, coming out of confuse, confusion, making a choice, seeing clearly what you need to do. Um, you may have gotten yourselves involved with something that was a false beginning. You know, it was based on illusion or something, and, and this is a reality check, so there could definitely be a reality check here. Um, yeah, becoming clear of what you need to do. Be very, very becoming very clear. This is the end of confusion. If there's been some confusion, it's over. If there's been some stagnation, it's over. I, I feel like it's over. Your your life is changing, and it is going to change for the better. By that wheel of fortune reversed, I mean, I mean upright. I was looking at this when I was talking about it. The Four of Cups is reversed. It's taking a new opportunity, letting go of regret, the end of stagnation, looking forward now, interested in this new opportunity that you are emotionally connected to. So you have a you have a connection here that you may have been missing or ignoring or something like that. And now it's like taking the new opportunity. Okay, so I feel like this is definitely an awakening. It could be a spiritual awakening of some sort. I think I think there's some sort of realization, new vision, new desire to go down a new path. And it comes very suddenly. I feel like it's it's a sudden desire to do that. Um This is very uh Strong. We have a lot of strength here. So I feel like you are... You have the skills. You have the skills to create something new. And you're going to be creating something new. You have manifested a new opportunity. And I think now... You, and I think that you've been ignoring this opportunity. Or it's been missed. You miss the opportunity for some reason. You, I think that you invested in something that was, uh, it was a poor choice. Okay, the Seven of Cups upright is a poor choice. This is reversed. This is seeing clearly that was a poor choice. <laughs> but I think that you gained some knowledge or some skills from investing in this situation, whatever it was. Ah, this is the poor choice. It's a poor judgment call. So yeah, if there's somebody's been lying, they haven't been telling the truth, the truths are going to be revealed. This is moving on from that poor choice. That's the meaning of the judgment card reverse. That's moving on from a poor choice, a poor decision, you know. Um, guilty, you know, feeling guilty. You know, somebody could be found guilty. Maybe you, maybe somebody else that's feeling guilty, feeling ashamed, moving on, being judged, being judged by others. Um, and it could be somebody else. There's there's some sort of poor judgment here. Somebody has made a poor judgment call and they're going to be judged for that poor judgment call because the truth is being seen. This is seen, this is seen, this is seen. The truth is going, it has been or it's going to be seen. This truth definitely moves you in a new direction. It's a positive new direction. It is a realization. There's been a lack of knowledge, a lack of awakening, but now we have a wake up call. This is like an epiphany. An aha moment. Somebody has not been listening. They have not been listening. They have been, um, been getting some poor advice. You know, and they, and they need to uh, wake up. Wake up. I just want to say wake up, wake up, wake up. There's some sort of awakening here. This awakening changes your direction. So anyhow, I, I feel like this, somebody's made a, obviously made a poor decision. They may have done something impulsively even. Somebody may have done something impulsively. And now they're going to be judged for it or they've been judged for it. Seeing very clearly what the truth is. So the truth is very clear here. It's time to release and move on. So yeah, you're going to be going in a new direction, definitely. Action is being taken. Right here, right here, action is being taken. Somebody could end up in court. 
not trying to scare anybody. It could be you. It could be somebody else. Somebody that you're dealing with. They could be, you know, I don't know. This is like guilty, um, ashamed, very, very interested, very interested in, in the truth. So somebody is very interested in the truth, seeing the truth now. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with another Scorpio or a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who takes action to uh, get what they want. This is somebody in a leadership position that is taking charge. So somebody is going to be taking charge. Ooh, five of wands reverse. Now this is this. There's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of fighting. There's you know it's like a war zone here. The five of wands is like a it's like a war zone. But uh, now it's like uh, the end of a conflict. This conflict is coming to an end. Done playing games. There's been extreme competition. This is the end of the competition. Everybody is gonna see the truth. Now it's time. That Wheel of Fortune is time. That's destiny. It's karma. It's cycles. A cycle is coming to an end. You're going to be running in a new direction. Trust me. This is leaving something behind that really caused you a lot of heartache. It caused you pain. It caused you suffering. You're going to be on the path to recovery, though, with the Three of Swords reversed. That's the path of re path to recovery. There's lack of knowledge with judgment. Somebody hasn't seen, you know, they've, they've lied or they've been uh, refusing to accept the truth. There's lack of acceptance here. You know, a lack of seeing the truth, hiding the truth, not telling the truth. Here's the truth. We have a very fast moving energy with the Knight of Wands on the bottom. That is very uh, move now. Somebody may be moving right now. You know, they're taking action right now. There's no time to waste. Going on a new adventure of some sort. Somebody's going on a new adventure. There could be somebody coming in really, really fast as well. If you're single, you know, there could be somebody coming into your life very, very, very fast. You don't even see them coming. Ooh, nine of pentacles reverse. Now this is must take action right now. You, you seriously, there's a need to take action. Somebody's going to be taking action for sure. If you are single, you probably won't be single much longer. If you are coupled, there, that change could be going from coupled to single. I'm just being honest. We have somebody here that is not enjoying their life. They're in some sort of battle, you know, and it is going to come to an end. Good luck.